Shalom, this is GMS on Let's Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Baal Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baal Sham, Raka Kodash, double honors to the elder apostle of GMS for teaching us this truth and that rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that is spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Amen. I'm here at the job and uh, checking out the brother's video. Uh, behold the GMS behold I come quickly and uh, you know listening to what the brother is saying concerning um, that sometimes you know uh, it's difficult to move forward but you gotta fight yourself to still make these videos you know it's lucky let me put this off real quick you know sometimes you gotta fight to do these videos man you gotta fight yourself man you gotta fight against yourself, you know. So um, the brother names one scripture and a hey, man. Spirit hit me, man. Spirit hit me to go into a couple of scriptures, you know. So I'm just gonna name this a response to the brother. Fight to do your videos, and um, just gonna go through some scriptures, man. And uh, basically, what I wanna direct it to is that. This, this this labor should not be a burden unto you, man. You know, this labor should not be a burden, man. This 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 work that we push for Yahweh Bashim Shai is supposed to come out of you, man. You know? And uh, uh, you should be willing to fight this flesh instead of letting the flesh take over, man. You know, that's why it's also heavy, man. Uh, the brothers from uh, GMS, Dallas, you know, the elders, they've been um, bringing out this thing concerning fasting we need to fast more you know and what what that all goes into is that we need to overcome the flesh man we need to have this flesh in subjection man you know we need we need to uh, um suppress this flesh that we need to grow in the spirit and the spirit needs to uh come above this flesh man it needs to be stronger it needs to be more uh uh um uh, uh, full of nutrition, you know, full of health, and and this flesh is supposed to be weak, man, you know, because that's also the the the, the point of fasting. You weaken your flesh so that your 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 spirit gets stronger, man, you know. So it's a spiritual battle that we are having right here, right now, you know, concerning these things, and that's why it's spiritual, man. That what the brother is bringing out, you know, you gotta fight, man. This is not nothing normal, man. All these demons that are around here are jumping upon the man of the Lord to not push this truth, man. I I have a brother, you know, of uh, GMS Holland. The brother teaches in uh, sign language, you know, for the deaf people. And uh, there was this uh, brother, also deaf, you know, he wanted to learn. So he stayed by the brother's house, you know, but the brother lives with his mom. So they was going deep in the scriptures, man. You know, the brother contact me. Hey, what is this breakdown? I would give him. He would go into it with this, this new brother. And then demon jumps upon his mother. And now uh, uh, the, the new brother is not allowed to stay there no more. The mother says, man, y'all need to go. Constantly busy with the Bible and stuff. You know, so you're not only finding demons... That are, jump upon yourself But also demons that jump upon people around you You know So it's a spiritual battle And you know uh, Wherever you are Wherever you Whenever you can You're supposed to see um, And look for room To make the, these videos man You know I believe there's a brother He has a series He has a you know a, um, Series of videos That's called the GMS Lunch Break man <laughs> And that's beautiful, man. To see something like that, that's beautiful, man. Because you are willing, if a brother is willing to give his lunch break, you know, 30 minutes, maybe uh, maybe one hour of uh, uh, time that you got, uh, that you get from your work to eat, you put that on making a video, you know. And making a video is not just like, okay, there it goes. No, you, you got to read some scriptures, man. You got to meditate upon it. You know, think uh, think upon certain scriptures and, uh, you know, get into it. So, not only are you making like, what, 20 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, maybe more uh, minutes uh, a video, but it, uh, it also has some preparing um, beforehand. So, there goes your lunch break. 
you know but that's 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 the fight man that's the fight that we are having and if you are not feeling this fight then something's wrong with you man you know and that's what i want to uh continue and add on to this brother uh too man um so what i want to start off with is the scripture that he roughly paraphrased which is sirach <clears throat> chapter 7 verse 15 and it says hate not laborious work neither husbandry which the most i had ordained so you're not supposed to hate this work man you're not supposed to be like damn man i'm gonna make videos again man all these brothers is getting on me for videos man i really don't feel like doing it man you know again man you know on a saturday is the camp day brothers are talking hey did you make did you make enough videos my man did you did did you do the work of the most i actually and then you you know you're sighing you be like man there he there he is again you know talking about if i made my videos if you are having that mentality concerning that then then you should look in the mirror man then you should really examine yourself whether you are in the faith like the scripture says man hey another scripture pops in my head Let me see if it comes up. Um, gone. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves how that Yahweh Shai is in you, except ye be reprobates. You know, let me go into that word reprobate, man. Except ye be reprobates. Okay, let's, let's check it out. Man. Let's see what it says. Okay, reprobate. It says a certain, a certain one, some time, a while. Let me go into it deeper, man. You know, let's let's get let Satan. Man. Let's get this this word out, man. Reprobate meaning you saw that the satan man. reprobate and on yeah and then it wants to pop up like yeah there's a new word oh now it does it reprobate a reprobate a morally unprincipled person one who is predestined to damnation damn morally unprincipled shameless if you you know, roll with your eyes. If you start, you know, sighing when when a brother tells you like, "Hey man, did you make your videos, man?" Hey man, I only saw two videos. Hey man, I only saw one video, man. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Hey, your your, your channel is si silent, man. You know, I I ain't seen uh, I ain't seen no activity on your channel. <laughs> if you are like that, man, you shameless, man. You know, to disapprove of. You know, you got reprobates that say. Like, three videos a week is too much. Oh, man, I ain't making no three videos a week, man. That's nonsense, man. I'll, I'll make videos when I feel like it. If you like that, then you are a reprobate, man. So what should you do as a reprobate? Examine yourselves. Second Corinthians um, 13 and 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. You got you to gotta prove your own self, man. <laughs> Think about that, man. You got to prove yourself. And the longer you are in this truth, the longer you walk in the spirit, it's going to be harder and harder to prove yourself, man. Because you're going to uh, accept more from yourself, man. Uh, not accept, expect, slakya. you got to expect more from yourself day in and day out, man. The, 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 the stronger and the, the bigger you get in this truth, you know, the, the more mature you get in this truth, the more you got to prove yourself, man. You know, in the beginning, you come in. Hey, I made a couple. I made a couple videos this month, man. Hey, you know, I'm going hard, man. Hey, this is good. You already um, um, content. You already um, content with that. But then later, you know, you maybe make two videos. Now you be like, damn, man, I only made two videos, man. Could have made more, man. You know, yesterday I didn't study, man. Damn. You know, this is. When you start growing in the truth, and now you gotta, um, you expect more from yourself. So you gotta prove yourself constantly 
why you got to know if you are really in the spirit, man. If you are really, re really walking in this truth, really walking in the faith, you know. Instead of having this mentality that you you don't really feel like it, man. Like the scripture says, Sirach 7 and 15, Hate not laborers work, neither husbandry, which is husband, husbandry is working in the field, which we are spiritually plowing, man. We are spiritually plowing, which the most I had ordained. We are working, man. We are working with our hands. Like it says, it's lucky, is this finished? Second Corinthians, let me read it again. Second Corinthians uh, 13 and 5, Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahusha is in you? Except ye be reprobates, except you are shameful, except you are disapproving to putting in work, you hate the laborer's work, you see this truth as a burden, except you be like this, you know, you got to examine yourselves and check if you are in the faith, man, if you are doing enough, you know, if you are pushing enough. Examine that day in, day out, man. You know, and um, this is the prime example, man. This is the prime example. A brother makes a video that is supposed to waken up your spirit instantly, man. To make make a video too, man. You know, doesn't matter what you are doing, where you at. Of course, sometimes, hey, when you have the, your boss watching you, okay, then it's fucked up. You know, you cannot just walk away. But, hey, as soon as you get on that break, man, you know, as soon as you get off, boom, hey, make a video, man. Push this truth. Wake up the elect, you know. Um, What scripture was I going to get, man? This is fucked up. Um... Damn, man. It's a lucky, man. I forgot where I was get, uh, heading towards. But then I wanted to finish. Uh, then I wanted to finish 2 Corinthians. Anyway, we're going to see uh, where it's heading now. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 30, uh, 33. And when this people or the prophet or priest shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of Yahweh? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, said Yahweh. You know, so when someone asks you, man, what do you think that's the most fucked up thing about this truth, man? You gotta see, you got you gotta tell this man, like, hey man, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Man, we are working towards salvation, man. We are supposed to, to push. We are sup we are supposed to push, man. What you talking about, man? Ain't nothing fucked up about this truth, man. You know? This is not no hobby. This is not no weekend thing, man. This is supposed to be life, man. You know? And you got to deal with the things that 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 come with it, man. And and like like it says, even if it's um, affliction, man, even if it's, uh, if it's persecution, you should take it ha uh, happily, man. You should be happy about it. So not even that is supposed to uh, 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 make you feel fucked up. So when someone... That claims to be in the truth asks you like, hey man, what do you think is a burden? Really a burden in this truth, man. You should you should, you're supposed to say like what burden, man? What are you what are you talking about? The word burden, it says um in the Hebrew, uh masha, it says load bearing, tribute, burden, lifting load, like it's a load, it's, a, it's too heavy, man, to carry, man. You don't want to carry it no more. You know? Uh, carrying, you see, carrying, it's too much, you know, a burden, so you're supposed to say, what burden, I will forsake you, don't deal with this guy no more, man, tell him like, man, you cut off, man, for even asking me this, you know, thus said Yahweh, this is what you're supposed to say, verse 34, and as for the prophet, and the priest, and the people, then shall say, the burden of Yahweh, I will even punish that man and his house. Let me read it again. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people that so, that shall say the burden of Yahweh. So if someone says, man, this, this is really a burden, man. This is really the burden that the Most High has brought upon me, man. 
Then what does what does the most I say? I will even punish that man and his house. So not even are you and that's spiritual man because the labor and the work that we put on put in is not only for ourselves but for our house also. You know, your children, your wife can get saved through you, man. If you keep pushing hard, they keep doing what you got to do, man. You know? So, this labor is 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 um, uh, for your house. But even when you don't do it, and when you say this is a burden, then your house gets punished altogether too, man. So, hey, man. Brothers that have children um, or wife, you know, you got to know, you know. You're fighting for your family too, man. Um, verse 35. Thus shall ye say everyone to his neighbor and everyone to his brother. What had Yahweh answered and what had Yahweh spoken? And the burden of Yahweh shall ye mention no more. For every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perf uh, perverted the words of the living power. And... Uh, of Yahweh of hosts, our power. You see, so saying this this truth is a burden, man. Hey, man, you work damnation to yourself, man. So if you're rolling your eyes, if you got a, you know, um, problem with pushing in this, uh, pushing out this truth, this truth, pushing this word, fighting that demonic flesh that you have, and stay in the spirit, listening to brothers the advice that they give, man. Brothers gotta fast, man. You know, that should be in your spirit already, man. But, hey, if it's not, then listen to the brothers and and, and, and meditate upon it and think like, damn, man, yeah, I got to do this, man. I got to overcome this flesh. I've been, I've been lazy lately, man. I should do a fast, man. One, two, three days. See what's possible for you, man. You know, but work towards it generally. You know, you don't want no, you don't want to pass out at your job or whatever, man. You know, work towards it, man. You know, so the work that we do, you should not be, you should not hate this, man. You should, you, you should want to fight. You should want to make a video. Every space or gap that you have, maybe during your work, maybe you know, a uh, uh, driving home. You know, like this brother, man. The brother, uh, I believe his name is Makaala. He was driving, uh, driving somewhere, man. I don't know where he was driving, but hey. Only because he found the gap to say these words, man. I got triggered to make a video, man. Now I'm, you know, now through that trigger, you know, I brought uh, out a couple um, uh, uh, scriptures, and maybe a brother gets motivated by that, or maybe a brother is able to uh, examine himself now better than he was doing before, you know. Maybe he's gonna make more videos now. Maybe. Those videos that he's going to make is going to reach people that never heard this truth before. Maybe the elect. And through that, now maybe the elect is going to be sealed quicker. If it's not sealed already. And we get the fuck up out of here, man. You see? So it's a chain reaction, man. That's why the apostles is constantly telling you, man, do your work, man. Do the work. Push out these videos, man. If you're in Great Millstone, you got to push these these videos man you gotta push this work man you know so second thessalonians chapter 3 verse 10 for even when we were with you this we commanded you that if any man would not work neither should he eat you see so if you if you want to gain all the benefits that come with this truth you know in the kingdom and even before the kingdom think about it man the spiritual power you know new bodies seeing the downfall of the enemy you know if you want to see all these things if you want to uh, reap all these benefits then you got to sow man oh damn hey man because i i know again what i was going to uh, going uh, what scripture i was going to grab <laughs> only because i say you got to reap and you got to sow so if you want to reap the benefits you got to sow too, man. And what is sowing, man? Place, planting the seeds. You got to plant the seeds, man. We are laboring. This truth is planting seeds into people, man. Into the into the men of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Into the people, into the children of Israel, man. We are planting the seeds. Some seeds bounce off. Some seeds land upon concrete, like Yahushai spoke of. Some seeds get snatched away by birds. 
You know? That's what we are doing right here, right now, man. Making these videos, pushing this word out, man. We are we are planting the seeds. We are sowing. We are laboring, man. We are being... Uh, um, we are doing husbandry. Like we read in the, in the book of Sirach, man. See if it's still open. Yeah, husbandry. We are working in the field. We are planting the seeds. Like it says... Um, let me see. Uh, in Proverbs, I believe. Proverbs 20. Gone. This is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. So you got certain people, they don't want to go out there, you know, certain camps, they don't want to go out there and teach because it's cold, because it's rainy, because it's, you know, not nice, it's freezing outside, you know, so they will not plow. You see, so it's spiritual. Husbandry is plowing in the field. It's working in the field. It's sowing, doing the work. But the sluggard, he will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. And harvest is the time of reaping, man. Harvest is the, is the time of, of getting, you know, the benefits of the work, man. So that dude that is sighing and rolling with his eyes and, you know, being like, damn, I'm going to make a video again, man. Yeah, man. You know, that dude... He, he shall have nothing, man. You, you see this truth as a burden, man. The most I will forsake you, man. You know, if you talk to a brother, if you talk to a brother and tell him, like, man, this is really a burden, man, that brother is going to forsake you too, man. If the most I tells, you know, one of your brothers to forsake you, if you come and tell him, like, man, what's the burden of the Lord, then what do you think the most I is going to do with you, man? He's going to forsake your ass too, man. You know? Because then you are reprobate, man. Then you shamefully, you know, disapproving with things that are laid upon you, which is the work of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, man. Like it says, hate not laborious work, neither husbandry, which the Most High has had ordained, you know, which the Most High has brought out there for you to push, man. Because we are the mouthpieces of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Basham Yahweh is not going to come down and teach to the people. No. True, the man of the Lord, his words are being taught, man, to the people. And the elect is going to be sealed through those men. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh You know, so we are spiritually laboring, laboring. We are spiritually plowing, man. We are spiritual husband, man. You know? So, man, a hey, heavy man, the spirit. Call a lawyer, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man, Brakate, Yahweh, Brakate, Yahweh, Shai. Hey, Shalom to the brothers out there pushing this word to see it in the truth, man. Shalom.